Yeah, I remember you did an interview recently where you talked about some of the, you know, the racist things that people have said about black people and monkeys and so forth. But you said when you actually scientifically look at white people, you know, monkeys are hairy. White people are the hairiest people on earth. On earth. <laughs> yes. I am really hairy. Like no, seriously. This I, is, got no, I don't I, I don't shave. No, I shave all I'm shaving. I, I right know. I you know I, I got hair on my back. Coming up my, the my, my up chest is your, all hairy. The hair coming I got up hair the my ears. Collar. Okay. <laughs> so I got, you know th- these uh, were highly overlooked similarities. Yeah, uh the big ears. White people usually have big ears. Bigger ears around. Monkeys well, have thin lips. White people, I have thin lips. Yes. So really, I I look more like a monkey than than anyone else. But you know, but then there's the whole racist stereotype that that you yeah, know to this century, day still go. The 19th century anthropologist is probably the most racist period in the most racist branch of science there ever was, and and it's it's evident by the moment you start categorizing people and then ranking them, well, you're going to rank yourself at the top Hmm. and that will deeply bias you for what you look for and what you cite as evidence to support your biased view. And you don't even think you have a biased view, but these biased views fed the entire um, eugenics movement. Hmm. The eugenics movement was let's, let's purify the human race by preventing the undesirables from mating, right? And sterile, forced sterilization, all of this. Yeah. A little known fact is the eugenics movement, which was big in the United States in the 1910s and 20s, fed the philosophies of Adolf Hitler as he rose up in the 30s. But we want to distance ourselves from him. Why, why wouldn't you? But if you actually part the curtains, there's the intersection of what race is superior and what race isn't. And that is foundational to Hitler's writings and it was foundational to the eugenics movement. Yeah, I mean, when I and hear- so, But in the, compa- the comparisons go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 in, in the book that I wrote, it's, I say, I didn't just come up with the, I said to myself, suppose the 19th century had racist Black anthropologists. <laughs> let's just turn let's just turn the tables. Let's make them racist and see what they would come up with. Huh. Of course, they'd have to put themselves at the top yeah. and now find all the similarities between white people and chimpanzees. And it start with the fully hairy bodies, the huge ears, the I have big ears. And, and the person who wants I look at my ear here. How big is that? Pretty small. All right. Yeah. And people say, Well, how about Obama? He's first black president and he's got big ears. He's exactly half white. Well, he's we probably we more call him a black, black president. Well, he's, no, no, yeah, he, oh, yeah, his dad comes from Africa. His he's mom exactly is totally white. He's exactly half, half white. white. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. No doubt, those big ears come from his mama. Okay. So <laughs> the point is, I'm just saying, it's, look, look how easy it is to be racist. Right. And take a look at a chimpanzee's lips. They're, they're razor thin. All right. And and we've got some very famous large lipped black people, you know, Jay Z among them. All right. I don't have small lips. So they overlooked so much. Yeah. Okay. Do you, uh, one, I got to add one just while you went there. So I'm going to add one. Let's go. Um, do you know lice outbreaks are 30 times more likely in white people than in black people? Really? The lice just don't enjoy black hair. Okay. okay? <laughs> whatever, for, for whatever, reasons, whatever reasons, it is 30 times more likely. Okay. Just if you just, you put lice in the hair, it'll want to go to the white per- people's hair. We ever see chimpanzees pruning each other? Oh, yeah. They pick the They're lice. They're picking out, out the yeah, lice. Right. And they, apparently, lice is tasty because they eat it. Yeah. Um, so this is a huge exercise. And anyhow, it goes on and on and on. The fact that you have never, likely never seen black children walk by a tree and say, I want to build a house in that tree and live there. <laughs> okay. This, this is like a suburban white kid thing. All right. And so that racist black anthropologist would say, these are just white people wanting to return to their roots in the trees. Okay. <laughs> it's all, look how easy it is to be a racist. Um, easy, well, you yeah. could totally do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, for example, like when, when Kanye says that he loves Hitler, I don't think he realized that during the Nazi reign of Germany that mixed kids were actually sterilized because 
Hitler did not want them muddling up yep. his perfect race. Yep. Yep. Kanye has four mixed kids. You have mixed kids. Like you, you know what I'm saying? So it's just sort of like the ignorance when you don't really know the knowledge and the history allows you to to say dumb things like, I love Hitler as a black man. <laughs> Thinking that somehow Hitler would have killed him if he had the chance. Yes. yes. Right. Or enslaved him or whatever. Yeah. Or, or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Uh 